Quite simply, our mission is to deliver nutritious meals to individuals in the community with, with volunteer support. Primarily, our service is offered to somebody with a nutritional need. So we serve ages three to 105. We provide a service to someone who is in, in a, a position of nutritional need. So whether you are, you are older and you cook less, we can deliver those meals to your home. Or if you are somebody who has been, you know, has had an accident, has a broken leg, and is homebound for a while, um, we can also, regardless of their age, provide them that meal as well. We are more than just a meal distribution organization. One of the other aspects that we feel very strongly about is that we also want to be a community resource. And so when individuals do call our client services, they might be calling to find out how much meals would cost for my mother. And as our, as our trained client services, they, they have questions that they ask and they, found out, they find out a little bit more about um, what the situation might be and what other resources or referrals that we can help them with. Whether they need a food subsidy program or if they need home care or better services overall for what their certain situation might be. I've been in the food business for, uh, for 40 years and uh, I've learned a lot of scratch cooking. Um, they didn't do a whole lot of scratch cooking before I got here. The important thing about making food from scratch is you have a lot more control of uh, the, the ingredients that go into it and you can keep the uh, sodium levels below what, they're, what, what they, they need to be. And um, the food tastes out obviously a lot better. What we try to do here is we try to keep everything uh, no added salt, and then we counter that by using herbs and, and, and citrus and things like that to uh, enhance the flavors as well. Mashed potatoes, that was another thing that, that, you know, they were making instant mashed potatoes and everything like that, so I started buying Yukon Golds and steaming them and then uh, mixing them in the mixer and, you know, just talk about night and day, you know, um, and, and people have really noticed the difference and, and hearing feedback from the drivers and then also people that call in uh, to client services, um, you know, they always email me and tell me this, this certain client really, really appreciates what you guys do. Um, the food tastes fantastic, the, the drivers um, are, are the best, uh, so they, they definitely show their appreciation. It's one of those jobs that um, when you go home you feel like you've really made a difference. Uh, we have a core of about 460 some volunteers that um, that help us with the food distribution. Also, with um, we have a, a system of how our bags are coded. They come in and help us prepare those bags that go with each meal. Uh, they also help us um, make salads or package cold foods in the kitchen, as well as we have office support. Our volunteers are pretty much the life force. They, we're powered by them. They're wonderful because I have volunteers that have, that have been with us maybe two weeks to 40 years. We have a volunteer that just celebrated her 40th anniversary. So to me, to know that somebody has that longevity, to, to give of their time freely, um, makes a big difference in, in my investment in working in Meals on Wheels. It's different than working for a company and, and feeding stockholders and uh, board members. Um, we're, we're, we're helping people that live around us and making, like I said, making a difference in their life.